six animals that could defeat a rhinoceros. Rhinoceroses are large herbivorous mammals that belong to the family Rhinoceratidae. There are five species of rhinoceroses, the black rhinoceros, white rhinoceros, Indian rhinoceros, Javan rhinoceros, and Sumatran rhinoceros. Black rhinoceros, native to Africa, they have two horns and a tough leathery skin. They are smaller and have a more hooked lip than the white rhinoceros. White rhinoceros, native to Africa, they have a square lip and two horns. They are the largest of all rhinoceroses and can weigh up to 5,070 pounds, 2,300 kilograms. Indian rhinoceros, native to the grasslands of India and Nepal, they have one horn and a distinctive fold of skin that runs down the neck and back. Javan rhinoceros, found in Indonesia and Vietnam, they are the rarest species of rhinoceros and have one horn. Sumatran rhinoceros, native to Indonesia and Malaysia, they are the smallest species of rhinoceros and have two horns. All species of rhinoceroses are threatened with some close to extinction due to habitat loss and poaching of their horns, which are highly valued in traditional medicines. Conservation efforts are underway to protect these magnificent animals. However, there are a few animals that can beat a rhinoceros. So, let's see which these are. Number 6. Elephant An elephant would win over a rhino in a fight. Elephants are larger than rhinos, and their tusks are twice as long as those of rhinos. The elephant has the power to easily lift a car, thus it can easily flip a rhino onto its side and use its powerful tusks to stab its underside. In the past, when they were in must and more aggressive, elephants killed rhinos. Dead rhinos began to show up after teenage male elephants were moved to Palainsburg National Park. They appear to have been killed by elephants because of the injuries on their necks and shoulders. An adolescent elephant in must usually loses the fight or soon gives up when faced with a large elder elephant, which causes them to lose their must. The young elephants never lost their must since they were so much larger than the rhinos. As a result, they behaved like wild adolescents. So adult bull elephants were introduced and the teenage elephants calm down within hours. Rhinos are strong and capable of taking a lot of punishment, but they lack the maturity to contend with a young elephant. They wouldn't have a chance against a huge bull elephant in a fight. Number 5. Tiger Here we will talk about the Bengal tiger and the Indian rhinoceros. Bengal tigers usually hunt smaller prey such as deer, pigs, and buffalo, but they have been known to occasionally hunt Indian rhinoceroses. The hunting process can be challenging for a Bengal tiger, as rhinos are known for their tough skin and powerful horns. Typically, a Bengal tiger will try to ambush the rhino and attack it from behind or the side, aiming for the neck or throat to disable the rhino. The tiger may use its powerful front claws to grip onto the rhino and its back legs to try to bring the rhino down. Once the rhino is down, the tiger can use its sharp teeth to inflict fatal injuries. However, it's important to note that Indian rhinos are generally able to defend themselves effectively against Bengal tigers and other predators. Bengal tigers and Indian rhinos typically avoid each other in the wild, and actual attacks are rare. Number 4. Lions The pride of lions is typically known for hunting large prey, including rhinos. However, hunting a rhinoceros is a challenging task and requires a coordinated effort from the entire pride. Lions hunt in groups, with the females doing the majority of the hunting. When hunting a rhinoceros, 
A pride of lions will typically try to surround the rhino and isolate it from the herd. Once the rhino is isolated, one or more lions will attempt to distract the rhino while the others attack from the rear or flanks. The lions will use their powerful jaws and claws to try to bring the rhino down, aiming for the neck or throat to disable it. Once the rhino is down, the lions will use their sharp teeth to inflict fatal injuries. It's important to note that rhinos are large and powerful animals that are well equipped to defend themselves. They have tough skin and sharp horns that can cause serious injuries to predators. Hunting a rhinoceros is a dangerous task for a pride of lions and is usually only attempted when other food sources are scarce. In general, rhinos and lions have evolved to avoid each other in the wild, and actual attacks are rare. Don't forget to subscribe and press the like button. Thank you! Number 3. Hyenas Hyenas are social animals that live in packs, consisting of related females and their offspring. These packs can range in size from just a few individuals to over a hundred individuals. Hyenas are known for their powerful jaws and sharp teeth, which they use to hunt and feed on a variety of prey, including zebras, wildebeest, and even buffalo. Overall, hyenas are fascinating and complex animals that play important roles in their ecosystems as both predators and scavengers. Hyenas hunt in packs and use their numbers to overpower large and powerful prey. When hunting a rhinoceros, a pack of hyenas will typically try to surround a rhino and attack from multiple angles. The hyenas will use their powerful jaws and sharp teeth to bite and cling to the rhino, trying to bring it down. Once the rhino is down, it's over. You will realize that in such a fight, there is a huge risk that a number of hyenas in the pack will lose their lives. Number 2. Hippopotamus the size difference between a hippopotamus and a rhinoceros is minimal, with the hippo often being larger. They are certainly longer in length than a rhino. The hippo's enormous mouth, which can open wider than a rhino's head, is capable of inflicting severe injuries on the rhino. Contrary to popular belief, rhinos are not indestructible tanks that charge into battle. Their fights with other animals are usually comprised of several minor jobs and are not as fast-paced as one might think. This is due to the rhino's limited eyesight, which makes it difficult for them to engage in a full-blown fight. In contrast, hippos are known for their short temper and tendency to become agitated easily. Male hippos, particularly alpha males, engage in constant life and death battles with other giant male hippos over access to mate with female cows and with massive 20-foot crocodiles. As a result, alpha male hippos have extensive experience in fighting. If a hippo were to encounter a rhino, the rhino would not have enough room to gain momentum and headbutt the hippo. Its best option would be to use its horns to swipe at the hippo. However, the hippo's tusks, made of ivory and stronger than rhino keratin, can be just as large and powerful as the rhino's horn. The hippo would use its strength and bulk to knock the rhino into the mud or onto the riverbank, where it would either drown or be torn to death by the hippo. Furthermore, the hippo can open its jaws and tear the rhino's face, even on dry land. Number 1. Crocodile A rhinoceros crocodile encounter is not a common occurrence, but it can happen if they are both in close proximity to each other, such as near a river or water source. In such an encounter, the outcome would depend on several factors, including the size and age of the animals, their level of aggression, 
and their past experiences with each other. If the crocodile is large enough, it may try to attack the rhino from the water, using its powerful jaws and sharp teeth to try to bite into the rhino's legs or underbelly. However, if the crocodile perceives the rhino as a threat to its young, or if it is cornered and feels it has no escape, it may attack the rhino. If a fight were to break out between these two massive animals, it would be a very intense one, but only one can emerge victorious. Because of both animals' features, the fight would be a pretty close call, but the saltwater crocodile would eventually win. The saltwater croc has a strong tail it can use to its advantage. Although its powerful bite might have trouble penetrating the rhino's skin initially, the skin would eventually give way. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.